Hey guys, I'm back home now and this is my room. I used to film here loads and yeah, so I'm back home. I moved from uni um, yesterday, so I still have a lot of things I need to unpack and organise and yeah, so I just thought today I'm going to film a summer makeup look that I've been wearing. Um, it's just a really simple, easy makeup look to wear and I've been wearing this a lot over the past couple of days because it's been really warm here in the UK. So yeah, I just thought I should film this video. I'm going to start off by using the NARS Tinted Moisturiser. This is a really nice tinted moisturiser. It has SPF 30 in it and you know when it's really, really warm? I don't really like wearing foundation because I just feel like it feels really heavy. So I like wearing tinted moisturisers and um, this one is just my favourite. All the products and all the shades and everything I use, I'm going to leave it listed down below. So if you're wondering what I'm using and what shade I am, you can check down below. So I'm using the Real Techniques 100 brush and I'm just going to blend this in. You can use your fingers um, to blend this in, but I just prefer to use a brush. For concealer, you guys know I've been loving the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer, but loads of you guys told me to try the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer, and um, I haven't tried this out yet, so I thought I should try it out on camera. Um, loads of you said it's better than the NARS Creamy Concealer, because it doesn't crease underneath the eyes, so I'm going to try this out. Oh, it feels really, really warm, uh, not warm, cold when I put it underneath my eyes. I'm going to blend out the concealer using the Sigma P84 brush. This concealer blends out more easily than the NARS one. And with concealer, I like bringing it right in the inner corners of my eyes, only because I like to brighten this area up as well and just cover up any darkness that I have. Wow, this concealer covers up uh, my under eye circles really, really well. Um, I'll let you guys know on Twitter whether I prefer this concealer or the NARS one. I'm going to try it out and let you guys know. I'm going to use the Ben Nye Banana Powder just to set the concealer underneath my eyes. I need to apply some lip balm. To contour my cheeks, I'm going to use the NARS Cream Contour um, Matte Multiple Stick or something, I forgot what it's called. And I'm just going to apply this just below my cheeks. Just draw one line just like that and another like that and I'm going to bring a little bit on the sides of my nose and below my jaw as well and I'm just using this Sigma F86 brush just to blend this in and then I'm just going in with the same brush that I used um, the tinted moisturiser with and just blend everything in together. I'm going to use this Rimmel Bronzing Compact Powder just to set um, the cream contour. I'm going to fill in my eyebrows and before I fill them in I like to brush through them only because I can see the areas that need to be filled in when I brush through them so I like to do this step first. Okay, that's my eyebrows done. I think I may have overfilled them, but I'm just going to leave them as they are. I'm going to um, work on my eyes now. I've been using this by Rimmel, and it's the Rimmel Scandalize Eyeshadow Paint. And this is amazing. This has been a really good eyeshadow primer. It just makes my eyeshadows last a really long time. The only thing is, it dries pretty quickly. So you have to do one eye at a time. 
but it's just such a pretty colour. I just noticed ever since I started um, wearing this, my eyeshadows just stay in place. Even when I get hot and um, sweaty, um, the eyeshadow just doesn't budge. So I like using this, especially when it's warmer. I'm going to use this eyeshadow palette by MAC and I'm going to start off by using the shade Rice Paper and apply this all over the eyelids. And just bring it in the inner corners as well. And then I'm taking Don't Tell, which is a shimmery brown shade, and just apply this in the middle of my eyelids. And then I'm taking this bronzer again and just apply this into the crease and blend everything in together. And I'm bringing this brown bronzing shade right in the inner corner just to define the eyes a little bit more. So I'm just bringing it right here. And then I'm taking the lightest shade in the palette and just applying this underneath the brow bone. And a little bit in the inner corners. So I've done my eyeliner. I did want them a little bit thinner, um, but they're quite thick, but it's okay. I'm just going to work with it and carry on. I'm going to powder my face. I feel like I'm getting oily around my nose. I'm just going to pat this powder down on my nose, on my chin, on my forehead. I'm going to apply some mascara. I feel like with makeup, I enjoy wearing it and I like trying out different products and sometimes I like wearing loads and sometimes I don't. So I just think, just have fun with it really. And you don't, like there's no right way. You can just do whatever you want. You could just leave the eyes just like that, but I'm going to apply some eyeliner in the waterline. I just feel like I need something there. So I'm just going to apply this really lightly. Okay, that's the eyes done now. I'm going to use this um, NARS blush in Taj Mahal. I love this colour so much. It's such a pretty golden shimmery shade and I'm going to use this on a Real Techniques Duo Fibre brush. I've been using this a lot as highlighter and um, it's just a really pretty shade. Just been putting that all over as a highlighter and as a blush really. Just gives a really pretty golden sheen, so I like this. I'm going to line my lips with this Maybelline lip liner and this is a really pretty pinky shade, it's called Intense Pink. And on top of that, I'm going to use this YSL lipstick. So this is the finished makeup look. I really like how it's turned out. My skin just looks really healthy and glowy and I really like the concealer as well. It's really nice. I know I've got quite a lot of makeup on for the summer, but you guys can skip out. So if you don't want to wear the eyeliner, you can skip that out. If you don't want to cream contour, you don't have to do that. So you can just do what you want to do and um, yeah so thank you all so much for watching if you like this video please click on the thumbs up button and if you guys want me to do more makeup videos let me know in the comments below and um, I was thinking I wanted to do like a summer drugstore makeup look as well so I could do that for you if you guys want to see that um, yeah and if you haven't subscribed make sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video bye Mwah.